7 a.m. I just did my skincare. Right now, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. The sunrise this morning was so pretty. It was like pink and like peach. It was so pretty. I wish I got a picture or something of it, but as soon as I finished my skincare, it was like kind of done so i was like darn it <laughs> in the morning i will make tea apple cider vinegar and lemon i've been making this oatmeal dish i've been really liking recently so i'm going to show you how i make that and then i have protein so let's get in the kitchen i'll show you everything i eat <laughs> good for digestive it's really good for your stomach weight loss gut health i feel less bloated when i drink apple cider vinegar also it helps your blood sugar levels um when i was healing my fungal acne i was reading you should drink apple cider vinegar because fungal likes to grow on the sugar and yeah so basically i had to drink apple cider vinegar and it actually healed in combination with other stuff i was doing it healed my skin it was really good and i just think it tastes really good you can also add cayenne pepper if you want to um that's a good remedy if you're sick but i'm good right now with this before i start making my breakfast i'll usually take my vitamins or at least get them out so i can take them a little bit later um these are all the vitamins that i took that day and throughout the week Making, uh, started to make my breakfast. I today I started with my oatmeal coconut mixture with blackberries, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. I, and then I also added some honey on top. And this is so good, you guys. I love it. I was obsessed with it this week, particular. So yeah, I would definitely give it a try. After I made my oatmeal, I made my eggs with these sausages and um, I would recommend these sausages. <laughs> these ones were not that good, but I'll put the ones on the screen that I love that I would eat instead, but um, those ones were okay. But yeah, I had eggs with uh, my sausages and I put some hot sauce on there and that was the protein. to mention in like the vitamins I take um, I also take this one it's a probiotic it's a probiotic for women it's by Garden of Life and I love this stuff it helps me like not blow and I feel like my stomach just overall feels better and I can digest things quicker and less painfully so yeah this is the another vitamin I take every morning and you take it three times a day I sometimes do depending on like if I'm having just like ba a bad day <laughs> Um, but I usually take one in the morning and one at night if I ate something big and I like just don't want to digest while I'm sleeping like painfully and stuff like that so yeah I want to have a successful sleep <laughs> Okay, so today I had work, so I had to meal prep my lunch in the morning after breakfast, but I made this mushroom, cabbage, onion, garlic saute, and it was really good and super easy, so I'd recommend this if you have to take a lunch tour. Since I do have work today, I made lunch so I could take it. It's all gonna fall out if I show you, but meatloaf. And then I sauteed up some onions, mushroom, and cabbage. And then I also have apples. <laughs> I try and always take a fruit, protein, and some sort of veggie. Um. 
Okay, usually on mornings when I have more time, I will like fit in like a workout and yoga. I forgot to mention I'm doing a 30 day yoga program. So that's why I'm saying this. But this morning I don't have a ton of time. So I'm gonna just do a 20 minute walk and then I'm gonna come home and then do that later. This is my fit, but also I'm definitely wearing a hoodie or something because it's too cold for this. to do my yoga that I didn't have time for in the morning and um we'll see how I'm feeling but I might do a mad fit workout like a leg one so that's what I'm gonna do right now I have my top my hair in a braid some leggings so let's do it <laughs> I first started my workout with um, yoga, so I was on day 14 of my 30 day yoga challenge and this one was really good. workout I did. I did a mad fit workout. I literally always do her workouts, but um, this one was a really good one. It was a 30 minute ab and leg workout or booty workout and it used a lot of weights and body weights for your abs. So I actually loved this workout. I was a little tired after work, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, and she also incorporated weights with the abs. So I thought that was really good as well.
finish my workout, but I forgot to mention I ate a few other things at lunch. Um, I had also a beef stick, a Chomps beef stick, and then I also had uh, I had a coconut water. Ay, ay, ay. So I had those two things for lunch, but right now I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna go get cozy. And my mom is making some soup for dinner, so chicken soup. She's making chicken soup and it looks really good. Ow, the lid was so hot. <laughs> with you guys my favorite dessert at the moment <laughs> it is this chocolate from dr bronner's and it's all organic it has co uh, coconut sugar in it really good ingredients and it's the peppermint one it literally and i'm a big fan of peppermint patties and it literally tastes like a peppermint patty so i recommend this if you are a fan and want dessert at the end of the night Good morning, it's Tuesday and I'm starting the day with my raspberry leaf tea and I'm about to make breakfast. Probably the same meal as yesterday, so yeah, we'll cut to that. <laughs> so we don't have blackberries today, which is fine, but it tastes the best with fruit, but we don't have any fruit besides apples and I don't want like that flavor right now. So uh, I'm just gonna make my oatmeal without fruit. So yeah, like I said, I didn't have any blackberries to put in my oatmeal this morning, but that's okay. Um, I try and only do a small handful of oatmeal if I'm having any because I try to cut down on how many carbs I intake with my meals. Um, and, but everything else is the same. I added pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and honey. <laughs> Okay, and then for the protein, I did something a little different. Again, don't use those sausages. They are not that good. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I sauteed up some onion, sausage, and tomatoes. Um, and then I boiled some hard-boiled eggs and Whoa, I had it all together and it was really like yummy. Green. And then it's literally like purple. sausage and then I sauteed onions and tomatoes and I put that on top with Cholula and that's my protein and it tastes really good and today I decided to go on a little walk around my neighborhood I went for about 20 minutes and I came home and did day 15 of my yoga challenge which was really good as well it was a little bit challenging um, I remember that day I was really tired so I think that's why it was a little bit challenging but overall it was really good
I did my workout as you saw I just did a 20 minute walk and then I did my yoga for the day so that's done and I was gonna do a leg workout but I was really tired so <laughs> I skipped that we're gonna do it tomorrow but now I'm gonna make lunch and it's gonna be like leftovers I don't know we'll see I'm gonna whip something up but it's gonna be yummy and it's gonna feel my body so that's all that matters okay so i first started cutting some broccoli um that was in the fridge and then i used some of the cherry tomatoes that we had on the counter and then i also had some mushrooms i was just kind of making this up as i went um that's what i usually do for lunch when i'm at home um and i just popped everything in a pan with olive oil and onions and just cooked that all up also i added cabbage as well um so a bunch of veggies which is really really good for you and then I added the leftover meatloaf that we had also in the fridge and then that was my lunch pretty much. After all that, I was craving coconut water for some reason so I had this organic one from Trader Joe's. Hello! Okay, it's dinner time. Guess what we're having? Soup, again, and broccoli. Um, this weekend my, I mean this, uh, what I eat in a week is not very like variety, but I promise hopefully tomorrow I'll switch it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we just have a big pot of soup, so that's why we're gonna eat it. I just did skincare, or my skincare routine, and um, I've just been chilling. I edited a reel of the skincare routine. That's on my wellness page if you wanna check it out. Also, I add this just so it's extra spicy. <laughs> somewhere to be but I wanted to get a workout in but I had eggs first and that was it I didn't have any oatmeal and I did a mad fit workout and a yoga It's currently 8.48. I'm heading to meet my friend Shayla to go sea glass hunting. Hopefully we find some cool pieces. I feel like sea glass hunting is so meditative and so relaxing. So yeah, we're gonna have fun. I just did my workout and I ate eggs. Eight, three eggs, not eight. And I did my workout like really quick before because I knew like once I got home, I did not wanna work out. So that's why, but we're heading to the beach now. So hopefully we find some sea glass.
Okay, after I got home, I had a beef stick and a coconut water because I was craving that for some reason. And then I decided to make some lunch a little bit later. I made my salmon patties. So it's basically canned salmon, onions, um, Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, one egg, and almond flour. And you mix that all together and fry it on a pan. And then I also had some broccoli and tomato saute. This was such a great lunch to have. It's really high in protein and it's just overall really healthy for you. For dinner, my family wanted me to <laughs> saute some Brussels sprouts. So um, I decided to make Brussels sprouts and also just saute a little bit extra stuff in it. Um, I put in cabbage, garlic, tomatoes, and it's all sauteed in olive oil. Um, and then I think I added just salt and pepper to the whole thing and it was so good you guys um, I absolutely love this meal and uh, for the protein my mom made beef meatballs dish so I had this for dessert since I didn't have it in the morning Everybody. So this day started off with hot lemon water uh, in the morning and then I scrambled up three eggs and a sausage um, And of course I had to put some Cholula on it, uh, but that was my breakfast And then it was another early morning for work So I scrambled not scrambled I cooked up some cauliflower in onions and garlic and I put two meatballs with that from last night um, I cut up an apple and I brought coconut water with me as well and then I got an acai bowl, <laughs> so I had that as well for lunch. It was a long day at work, so I got home um, and I just I skipped my workout because I was really tired. But I had uh, broccoli and uh, I think it's turkey saute that my mom made uh, for dinner, and then of course I had a chocolate. So yeah, that was uh, my dessert. Okay, so this morning I had hot lemon water and I think I put a raspberry leaf tea bag in there as well So I had both um, and then I made my obviously famous oatmeal and I actually had blackberries today So I stocked up on that <laughs> in my bowl um, And I added chia seeds and pumpkin seeds and of course honey because it's amazing Okay, these sausages were way better. Um, they tasted more like Italian dinner, but it was still really good and I had eggs with that and then I did a yoga and I did uh, I think I did two yogas because I missed it the other day and I did a mad fit workout, of course. <laughs> I just got ready for work, but I wanted to show you really quick what I'm making for lunch for work. Um, so, in the pan, got a ton of mushrooms with some onions and sauteed that. And then I also, I'm doing my cabbage again. So I'm just doing my sauteed cabbage with mushroom meal, basically. And um, and then I have, I have my meatballs. No, that is not mold. It is just the fat. <laughs> and then I have apples again, and then my trusty chocolate I season this with salt pepper oh I always add like fresh garlic to this because it tastes so good but I just don't have enough time right now to cut that so I just did garlic powder but um, garlic powder salt pepper and that's all the seasonings that I do with this and then once it's pretty much cooked down I just chuck it in my bowl with my meatballs and then I am good to go for work so
Hey guys, it's a bit later. It's like 8.40. <laughs> I'm home from work and this is what I'm eating for dinner. This is it. Thank you mom for cooking dinner. So I have broccoli, some uh, turkey meat sauce from last night, I think, and then <laughs> rice, a little bit of rice, and a sausage that I had this morning. Some yummy food. This is a pork sausage, by the way. Excited for some dinner. Since it's Saturday, we have decided to make coconut flour pancakes and I'll have the recipe here, but it's also on my YouTube shorts. It's like the pop the most popular video. You click that on there. This recipe is really good. <laughs> you were in it. I did this mad fit workout for legs and oh my god this one was such a good workout I just want to mention that because I don't know this was just such a good workout and if you're looking for a good at-home leg day do this one done my workout and I'm making some lunch. I'm having my mushroom cabbage garlic saute and then I sauteed it in some of the ghee and then I added some beef saute that my mom made. Um, whoa. Okay, this actually made so much. Um, so I'm gonna grub out right now. Oh my god. Steam. And well, yeah, I mean, I just did a big old workout, so I deserve this big bowl of food <laughs> and watch a football game. Okay, it's a little bit later. I am making a little dessert for tonight. Sorry, my bun just is obnoxious right now. Um, but I'm making lemon bars for dessert, and basically it's... I'll kind of share with you guys how it's made, but you whisk it together four eggs, maple syrup, and you also do zest of lemon, two thirds cup of fresh lemon juice, and a tablespoon of coconut flour for the filling. And then the uh, crust is literally coconut flour, coconut sugar, and coconut oil.
and then I'm gonna bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 325, I think. Let me check. 350, thank you. Once it's out, we pour the egg mixture in there, then pop it back in the uh, oven for, I think 25-ish minutes, 30 minutes, and just until like it's set, and then you pop it in the freezer if you want it cold and quicker, <laughs> and then it's ready to eat, and I'm so excited. I haven't made these since summer. <laughs> saute and broccoli um, and then I had uh, of course lemon bars for dessert and they were actually so good usually the crust is made with almond flour but I wanted to find one without it because almond flour can be a little bit um, uh, not good for your gut so yeah but this was so good I'm going to make really quickly a cabbage saute with onion, mushroom, cabbage, and garlic. And then I'm gonna add um, a can of tuna in there and just like whip it all together. And I think that's gonna taste really good. And I might take some apples as well for lunch. Oh god, I don't need that much garlic. <laughs>
my lunch for Sunday and basically explained everything but it's the tuna cabbage saute with mushrooms and then I have apples and now I'm gonna head to work. I feel so sad because this is the last night <laughs> I have to film my food <laughs> but this is what we're having. I kind of buried the salmon but we are having salmon, broccoli, and then I just added some beans to my meal because I just I'm still really hungry right now so I'm gonna have that but yeah this is the last dinner of the week, so yeah. Hold it. I know, I can send you a whole thing for it. It disrupts your gut. The other ones are macadamia nuts are better for you. <laughs> you, want to see, you want to see what I said earlier?